There are nine crafting disciplines and your character can learn all of them, but only two can be active at any one time. A conversation with a master craftsman is needed to swap in and out of your trades, as is a small fee. Let's look at armor crafters. Armor smiths make heavy armor, leather workers make medium armor, tailors make light armor. All these armor crafters can also produce bags. You will need bags. Bags are good. There are three weapon-making disciplines. Artificers create staves, scepters, tridents, and foci, as well as consumables like potions, tonics, and tuning crystals. Hunters craft short bows, long bows, pistols, rifles, harpoon guns, torches, and war horns, as well as consumables like maintenance oils. Weaponsmiths make axes, daggers, swords, great swords, maces, hammers, spears, and shields, as well as consumables like sharpening stones. For all your trinket needs, i.e. amulets, rings, and earrings, you will need a jeweler. Food and dyes are produced by chefs. And scribes make guild hall decorations, world v world armaments, and guild banners. Scribes are guild-centric and a little bit off the normal crafting paradigm. To craft, you will need to head to a crafting area and crafting station slash table. They are marked on the map and often huddled together. Each city has a crafting hub. These are also the places where you learn a crafting discipline by speaking to a master craftsman. A short conversation is all that is needed, although you will need to spend gold to learn additional recipes. Master craftsmen also sell vital components you will need to use whilst crafting. For me, the ability to make ascended armors and weapons, the best statted gear in the game is reason enough to take up crafting. But you can also make gold from selling materials related to the production of Ascended and Legendary gear as well. The crafting system I think could use some TLC, but if you're interested I've popped some links below to some crafting guides to get you started. Which brings us neatly to the game's salvage system, because all those craftable resources have to come from somewhere, and you will be getting a lot of loot drops specifically designed to be salvaged and used as crafting materials. But what do I mean by salvage? Most Guild Wars 2 gear can be salvaged. For example, if you have a lighter armor chess piece you're not going to use, it can be broken down into a few cloth, or you have a weapon that you don't want, it can be broken down into iron ingots and maybe some leather from its grip. To break down old or useless gear into its component parts, you will use a salvage kit. Kits can be purchased from NPCs in-game, purchased on the gem store. They have 15 uses for lower level kits and unlimited uses for gem store kits. You can create a kit with 250 charges called a Mystic Salvaging Kit, links below. It's fairly straightforward to make actually, but it's not something that you're going to be able to do until you've leveled a bit. An endless salvage kit on the gem store will set you back a minimum of 500 gems, which if you exchange in-game gold for gems will cost you about 150 gold. I think it's worth it in the long term, especially if you decide to unlock a account-wide shared bag slot, giving all your characters access to that endless kit. At least it's worth it for me, it's a judgement call you'll have to make. Please do like, share and subscribe, and please show some love to my wondrous patrons. Thank you all so very much for your generosity.